We're in October and these have seen better days. Uh, these have already had a couple of freezes and I kind of let them get a little rough looking before I decide to harvest seeds but now that these are kind of older and trying to dry out you can kind of see the little seed pods, those little round things. That's where the seeds will be. And I think these are about ready to harvest. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the stalks down below the flower heads a little bit. I'm not going to cut the whole flower and we'll allow these to dry out and then we'll harvest the seeds and I'll show you how I do that. After I cut these I stuck them on top of my old toolbox here. The lighting's not real good but I think we can still see it. They've been in here for about a month or so. As you can see some of the seeds are already starting to fall off on the newspaper just from me jostling them around a little bit. And what I'm going to do is um, put them over some paper and shake them a little bit and see if we can't get some more of these seeds loosened up. I just stuck a few newspapers here uh, and then on top of the newspapers I put some paper towels so we could see better. But just carrying this flower head over here and holding it over the paper towels you can see some of the seeds are already starting to fall out. And if I shake it just a little bit you can see, boy, they really start to come out in pretty good numbers. And I haven't really shaken it very hard either. And we're getting quite a few seeds. And I'm doing this left-handed, so I'm not doing a very good job of it. But as you can see, there's lots of seeds down there. There's a little bit of chaff mixed in, but I'll show you how we can get rid of that too. Once you get a good number of seeds, you can just shake them off on a paper plate or into a paper bowl or whatever you want to keep them on until you get all your seeds gathered. After just a couple of minutes, I have quite a few seeds here. They're kind of hard to see uh, because of all the chaff. And before I show you how to get rid of the chaff, let me show you how to get some more seeds out of these flower heads. There are probably still a few loose ones if you shake it, you know, you can get a couple out. But in order to get a bunch more out, what I do is I use this little sifter here. I just break off one of these flower heads and just push on it scrape it across that sifter and as you can see those seeds are falling right out. I'm getting a lot more seeds. I've got a lot more flower heads. So uh, just with a little more effort you can get a lot more seeds depending on how many seeds you need. You might want to go through this extra step. If you already have enough then you won't need to do that but I'm looking to get quite a few seeds. And as you can see, most of the chaff stays in the sifter and the seeds fall through with some real fine chaff. What I'm going to do is continue this process and uh, throw away the chaff as I collect it and see how many seeds we can get. We've got quite a few flower heads uh, that I shook out already, but as you can see, there's quite a few seeds left in them. I've got a lot of seeds in this plate now. After I worked uh, for a few minutes, you can kind of see them around the edges, but you can't see them for all the chaff. So what I'm going to do is transfer them into this bowl with uh, these other seeds and chaff. And I'll show you what I'm going to do next. The seeds in here are quite a bit heavier than the chaff, so they have the tendency to fall through this uh, screen easier. As you can see, just dumping them in, I've got quite a few seeds. What I'm going to do is just shake this uh, real lightly. 
I'm going to get a lot of those seeds out without getting all the chaff. Some of the chaff's going through, but that's a real fine stuff. But I have a plan for that also. But right now I'm just uh, trying to get the seeds out and we'll get rid of some of these bigger chunks of uh, chaff. That's pretty good. I don't hear too much, too many seeds coming out. Well, there are a few. But most of what's left in the screen here is chaff. So we're going to just dump that out. Now I'm going to repeat that process one more time. We're starting to see the seeds a little better now. I'll just dump them into the screen again. Now we're getting more seeds. I'll be getting rid of just a, a little bit more chaff of the chaff and that's pretty pretty good. As you can see, we're eliminating more chaff. Now I'm going to repeat that a couple more times. I'm not going to bore you with the process, but I'm going to repeat that a couple more times and I'll show you what how to get rid of the really fine stuff. Okay, I ran the seeds through the screen a few more times. Oh, probably four, four or five more times. And each time I got rid of some more of the chaff. But this is mostly seed, just really fine stuff that's left of the chaff. Now I'll show you how I get rid of that. Now what I do to get rid of, rid of the really fine stuff is just to blow on it lightly. You can see it really flies. Now some of those seeds are going out, but as you can see, I'm getting a lot cleaner seed with every time I do it. You just re repeat that process until you have uh, seeds that are clean enough for your taste. That's about all there is to it. It's pretty easy stuff. Doesn't take too long. And this this um, sif screen sifter here I have uh, used on basil seeds. Any real small seed like this, uh, it works great. And I've got the newspaper down here. If you wanted to save all these seeds that I'm accidentally blowing out, you could do that too. But I'm going to probably just save the ones I have in the plate here, and I'm going to call that good. I might uh, just throw those ones that have uh, come out on the paper. I might throw those out in the flower bed and see what comes up next spring. As you can see, you can get a good number of seeds with just a little bit of effort. This is what I'm going to store my seeds in. It's just a sandwich bag. I have some other smaller uh, plastic bags. I'll probably separate some in. But as you can see, they're not perfectly clean, but uh, they're good enough for me. The main thing is to keep them dry, and if they're stored well, um, they'll last three or four years and there's enough there to probably share with friends and family and still have a lot more than I'll use in three or four years. So as you can see, you can get a lot of seeds in, in no time. But hopefully this will help a few folks out there who are uh, wondering how to go about saving those tiny seeds. If you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Otherwise, like, comment, and share. We'll see you next time.